Hi guys, my name is Hai I'm going to commentate for the finals today. I'm an Indonesian and... I'm joining him, I'm Matthew Hui, I'm from Singapore. So, we're making up a pair of different country then. Yeah, we, 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 we do see a finals of Indonesia and Singapore and also a uh, commentator from Indonesia and Singapore yeah, also. So, today we're going to have our own biases here, but let's still let's hope Yeah, it's biased, yeah, yeah. Just let's hope for the... Just let's hope for the best. Alright, so before we begin, I think before the match begins, I think we're going to have a bit of an interim. We're going to bring up the usage statistics for this uh, regional championships. Yep. Okay, let's check on the usage statistics. Uh, we see uh, Landorus is actually the most popular here, and we following with the Kangash can also Edge Slash. I'm actually a bit surprised on seeing uh, quite a number of Talon Flames and also uh, Sylvians. As uh, we know, uh, lately I've seen a bit more of uh, Guard of War for, uh, the for exchanging Sylvian. I think Sylvian's resurgence is not that surprising because people have realized again that Guard of War being a mega takes out your mega slot. And Sylvan allows you to pair with Kangaskha and give you a very strong pick out plus type of voice option. But yeah, I agree with you that the Talon Flame resurgence up to 20 is yep. actually a great shock to me. Yeah, it's a great shock. Talon Flame has always been written off as you know too frail, it's only used by less experienced players, but well clearly people do know what, what Talon Flame is good for and have brought it to this yeah. regional champion. But we haven't seen any do did we see any uh Talon Flames on the top cut yet? No, I don't think I don't think Talon Flame did manage to make it top cut after all. Yeah, not for all. So yeah, many statistics, not useful. Uh probably will be gone. And next year will be uh, probably we will all uh, the PGC 2016 will be all primals and everything. And we have also Amungus here, uh, probably going to spore everything. Amungus, uh, clear choice. I believe Amungus does uh, Matthew have Amungus on his team? Uh, Matthew, uh, not sh No, oh Matthew yes. does so not. We will, get, we will see, we will be seeing Amungus, so but it will be only on UCS side of the field. Yeah, we only see Amungus on Port UCS side. So, so like you said, whether or not Isaac can bring it to bear and you know start scoring everything on Matthew's team. So yeah. again, I believe in the semi-final we saw that uh, Matthew's Isaiah was holding the safety goggles. Yeah, safety goggles. So uh, probably Po Yuche if already uh, if he scouts a bit, he probably knew on his uh, safety goggles and doesn't want to score onto the yes, Australia right. side. Yeah, basically that's it. And so I believe we will be going into the game. Yeah, I think we'll be going into the game uh, shortly uh, with. Uh, Paul Yushia from Singapore battling uh, Matthew Marcelinus from Indonesia. And I believe that we, go, we are going into team preview. Team and trainer. we see on Matthew's side of the field. As right, we see I'll just let, I'll now, let you yeah. talk about Matthew since he's your countryman. Yeah, Alright, as we see just now, we have uh, also Landry's uh, full Corona, which is interesting to see a full Corona. Uh, it can uh, be a hard hitter, also a rage powder. Uh, but obviously, uh, more, more. It's more uh, obvious. It's not obvious, but it's more common to have uh, Among Us as uh, your rage powder Pokemon. Yeah, Persellia as, uh, as well. Uh, Edge Slash, Kangashin, also Rotom Wash. And for you, just side of you, he's running a somewhat more standard Chalk Core, just without the Landorus. He's running the Kangaskhan, Heatran, Persellia, Concluder, Azumarill, and Among Us. So a potential trick room mode for each yeah. as well as a fast mode if he wants to go with the uh, Azumarill, just going for the belly drum and going for a sweep. Yeah, we have both seen us this player on uh, res top in and also top four uh, battles on the stream, uh, respectively. So uh, probably Matthew, who is watching the game, could know uh, more or less what Spoyuches Pokemon yeah. and also Spoyuches as well. Uh, as just now, it's also stream. Uh, we at at least he have some uh, information, a bit of information on Matthew team as well. So we see the screen is starting right now. And we're going into the battle, and we will see what so it's this. Yeah, what's the lead? The lead? Again, a Kangaskhan mirror for our final here. Yeah, lead is very important as well. If if you make a wrong lead, uh, it could cost you the game actually. So Jumintan, I believe this is the Rotom Wash coming out yeah, next yeah. to the Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan and also Rotom Wash. And I'm interested on in seeing our Poyushi. Yeah, Yusha bring out the Among Us and the Zomorail. So Yusha going straight for the Rage Powder Belly Drum potential lead. Yeah, but he'll be threatened by the Fake Out coming yeah. from Matthew's Kangaskhan. Yeah. Uh, Matthew also need to take into account that uh, uh, Amungus also has uh, the Rocky Helmet, which deals a bit of damage uh, onto the Kangaskhan. Well, no switches from either side. Matthew will go straight for the Kangaskhan, and we will see whether he chooses to, choose to fake out the Azumarill. Probably the Azumarill, since I don't think he wants to be going into the Rocky Helmet uh, Among Us. And see the Protag coming out, and... Fake out actually does go Towards into the Among Us. So Matthew willingly taking the Rocky Helmet damage, or maybe he didn't know it was Rocky Helmet? Yeah, maybe he doesn't know. Uh, he doesn't watch the uh, previous match before. Rotom Wash will go for the trick, trick. onto the oh, oh, he went oh. for the um, Azumarill. 
So, so uh, I assume it's a choice item on the yeah, Rosh. It's a, it's a, as we see before, it's a choice card. Yeah. Before. Oh yeah, it's, it's very fast. It's a very fast uh, and very unbulky Rotom, in fact. Unbulky Rotom. Oh, and now you see the Rotom is now locked into Trick. trick. Locked into Trick. So uh, it's gonna be interesting or when the uh, he put you chair will switch his Pokemon uh, into but one of the other side. As of right now, I think Yuzhen has a very, a very simple Rage Powder plus Belly Drum play on this turn. Yep. But uh, even though th with the belly drop, and even if the trick uh, locks uh, puts choice card onto the Amongus, I don't think Amongus minds being locked into Rage Powder. Yeah, it doesn't mind being Rage Powder as its job is only Rage Powder. So we see the trick right now coming out onto the uh, Amongus. The Amongus just get the choice card. So now Kangas goes for the return. No more Rocky Helmet damage no more this time. Helmet, yeah. But it will not be enough to take out the Amongus. Yeah, still. And does the mirror go for the belly drop? It does go for the belly yeah, drop. It does go for the belly drop. Uh, and activates the Citrus Barrier, I believe. Yep. So Close. basically, his uh, the Amogus also she her her uh, health is going around a seventy five percent. And I think since we've observed that it's a very fast Rotom, I think without the bulk, it's probably going to go down to uh, Aqua Jet immediately. Yeah, Aqua Jet. It can uh, probably one kill uh, one hit kill onto the Mega Kangaskhan also. Yep. So uh, Master Ganges is going to have to make a choice. Since yeah. and the thing is, with a, a choice Rotom and a Kangaskhan, we figure out. I think neither of them carry protect. Yes, and with no protects uh, going on, I uh, it's interesting to see uh, Rotom watch what will it do? Uh, will it switch or go for the kill? No, nope. now so stays in. So I think uh, Matthew is choosing to sacrifice one of his Pokemon to get the Among Us off the field. And we see the Aqua Jet comes off and it goes into the Kangaskhan. We'll take it out. We'll take it out. And the we'll go now it's trying to see what Rotom will go for. It goes for the Thunderbolt into the Among Us. Is it going to be enough? It's. It does oh, take out the Among Us. Like just about it. Oh, critical hit. Uh, but critical I don't think hit. it matters. But at that point of health, well. I think it, it, it's uh, a bit. It's going to the uh, Polyshare sites as uh, we see that he wants the Among Us to be taken out. Yes, actually. it's locked into Rage yeah, Powder. Because it's only locked into Rage Powder. So uh, the next uh, Pokemon. Uh, Landorus comes Landorus. out. So Among Azumarill uh, brings down to minus fi uh, plus five now. Nah, nah, not really. Not really that matter. But that matters for uh, the Kangaskhan. Kang yeah. Kangaskhan, of course. But then well, again, <laughs> yeah. he just choice of a nickname, Matt uh, Sensei, playing against his opponent who's Matthew as well. doesn't bring any uh, choice card, eh, sorry, doesn't bring any protects, so cannot protect from the fake out of Kangash can. And, uh, oh, Landorus oh, is coming out just for the Intimidate, so the Matthew intimidate. going for the Mo Volcarona, I presume? Yep. Yeah, Volcarona, I presume. Maybe he's trying to fish for Aqua Jet Bird. Aqua Jet uh, Bird, yeah. Mode. The chances, the RNGs and everything, we see the... That might be his only chance to stop this as a Mario. Yep. Kangaskhan goes for the easy fake, fake out. out. Oh, is it going to the Volcarona? Oh, no, it goes for the Rotom Wash. And so no chance of a flame body burn. The critical hit also. Uh, Rocky Helmet, yeah, by uh, stolen from the Among Us. Yep. It's a bit. Um, uh, Azumaro yeah, does go for the Aqua Jet. Jet. Is it going to get burned by Flame Body? Aqua oh, just goes off, and there is no, no Flame Body. No, 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 no wait, actually no, we haven't seen it yet. No, no Flame Body burn. No burn. So Azumaro pretty free to go through the team. Especially if the Landorus is assault vested, in which case it cannot protect as well. Yep. Kangaskhan uh, actually down to minus two now, I believe. Yeah, minus two now. Uh, but uh, can, uh, Landorus, it's still uh, quite a bulky Pokemon. But then again, with a the plus four, four stage, uh, probably won't do much. You see the sucker punch going onto the uh, road. Not gonna take it out. Sorry. And taking a lot. Of I'm not sure why he's here doing that actually. Yeah. He's actually on the upper hand, but with the Rocky Hammer thing. Aqua Jet will kill sure. the Landorus, assuming it does not. Assuming it is the assault vest, and it is. Yeah, see, it's the assault. Okay. So it's Rotom against the world at that amount of health, I think. So I think game 1 will go to Yu Yeah, for Yu Who goes to game 1, and it does kill, so uh, probably just wants the. So Yu actually has forced to review his last Pokemon. Yep. Which will be uh, interesting information for Matthew to take in for the next game. Yes. So and he knows what Uter was planning to bring against him. Yep. Yes, we'll see a Conkelder. So probably. Uh, a uh, Punch will finish this game off. Yep. So probably he will bring a Cresselia to counter that uh, Conkelder itself as well. As well as, you know, maybe Cresselia can skill swap the Azumaru? Yep. Keep it in control? Yep. Because he control. clearly needs a better co counter for the Azumaru. In the yep. previous game, he just ran right all over him. Yep. Uh, as we can see on the team, uh, Matthew's team. Uh, the one that can count as Azumarill is only actually Rotom Wash, as the other is not uh, really that. Uh, Though he does have the Cresselia, which if he keeps goggles, he can ignore the Among Us Rage Powder. Yes, and also the uh, Edge Slash, I presume. Yeah. But still, uh, neutral waterfall attack is still 
deals a lot of damage, of course, uh, to... Uh, so I think Aegislash can at least, you know, force some King mind Shield. games with King Shield. Yeah, yes, yes. Try and bring Azumarill's attack down to a more measurable level in case he does manage to jump. Yeah, that's what's interesting actually with uh, a King Shield, as it only protects uh, from attacking move, but you cannot get onto the town and everything. Uh, I believe on PG 2014, people actually planning on playing with uh, Protect Aegislash, but it does not go really well because it cannot switch back into the yes. shield form. Yeah. People actually thinking that uh, by using Protect, they, uh, they get back into the shield form as they don't want to get to town or sleep or something else. But no, sleep might be a major concern since I believe if you've gone into the VGC, the VGC 16 ladder, yeah. there's been a lot of Dark Void going around. Yes, a lot of Dark Void will be going around. Uh, a lot right. of Enough of stuff. that, we are going into game 2. Ita with a one game advantage and Matthew looking to bring it back. Matthew looking to bring it back for sure. Especially this is the first regionals for Indonesia, I believe. As well, so I think he wants to do his best for his country, my country as well. Yeah, the Crescent does come out. Yep. Um, Matthew recognizing that it's for stands one of the best chances against the uh, Azumarill, but each year I going with can. a slightly different lead, the Kangasan Azumarill, a more proactive fake out belly drum lead. Yep. And uh, we see, we'll see, will the trick comes out again or the thing to fake out here is is very easily going onto the Rotom Wash. Probably, yeah. So the question is, what can Crescent do to stop the belly drum? Or at least disrupt the belly drum in some way. No switches again, so both players trusting what they have. And Kangaskhan presumably they, will be they, going for the fake out. Just uh, easy going, almost. The fake so out does come out onto the Rotom Wash. No intimidate this time, so it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Just how it's critical. Oh, that's not what's critical. Just how it's critical. That's why it's. So the flinch comes out. Oh, he does go for the skill swap. swap. He, he does, does manage to go for the skill swap. And yes. Azumaru will effectively only be going to plus 3 in this battle. Yep. Plus three on this battle. No, oh, it's still plus six, but uh, then again, the power is not uh, twice. Oh, it's just true. It's times four, and now it's yep. now it's half. So it's only a plus two boost this time. So not as threatening this time, but look at Rotom Wash HP. Mm. Uh, Cresser doesn't want to do another skill swap onto the parent form bond itself. Not not gonna do that. So uh, yep. it's a huge bit power hard. Oh, yeah. Not exactly what you want to be seeing in the game. Yeah, you don't you don't want to see huge power Kangaskhan as well. Uh, Matthew needs to be so smart in playing his. Uh, his Rotom Wash has to, he has to play his Rotom Wash carefully here because he doesn't want to walk into a sucker punch or even just outright get killed by Aqua Jet. Yep. So, so he makes two changes in fact. He brings EG Slash as well. But the Protect from the Azumarill predicting the Thunderbolt perhaps from the Rotom Wash. And he does go for the Thunderbolt. And Kangaskhan will pick up the KO on the Rotom Wash. So, it's here. Somewhat calling Matthew's move yeah. there. Somewhat calling that move. So. Still, uh, Bo Yuche is uh, controlling the game right now, I believe. Uh, he does have a plus 6, but without uh, the huge power. Not as threatening, not capable of taking out the Kangaskhan, but as you've seen, he has knockoff, which will be more than capable of taking out the Aegis Slash. We see the knockoff before on the game, uh, the Top eight. quarter final, yeah, yep. quarter final, I believe. Uh, the knockoff kills the Gotten Tail, uh, Zane's Gotten Tail, and it's up. Uh, it was burned, so yeah. Yeah, it's it was burned. Effectively the same here, it's been skills off the way. This is as good as a burn as a Mario. Still does a lot of damage onto the. Definitely. And still relatively healthy. Yep. And so each year bringing back the Kangaskhan into the Among Us. Among Us. Hoping for more Rocky Helmet damage perhaps onto the Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan so Kangaskhan Rocky. Mega evolves. And yes. Mega Kangaskhan is very bulky. Uh, each bit of damage is actually very important. Oh, the oh, double yes, protect double comes protect. out! The double well, protect comes presumably out! Presumably he goes for the double into the Azumarill. Oh, yes. yes. So, Yutia really going, putting all his hopes on a 33% play. And Matthew 15, making 15, the... 30. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 33. 33, 33. It's always 33. 30. And, and Matthew making the correct play, doubling into the Pokemon yeah. that protected last turn. But unfortunately, unfortunately yeah. RNG not in his favor today. I just on his favor. He did well until the top two. But let's see. Let's so, he just going go. for the switch, not, not going not for the predictable Kim Shield. No, yep. no. Oh, worry about a spawn and going to his safety goggles Crystallia, which will eat up the spawn quite comfortably. But nope, rage power coming out from the Among Us, hoping and to draw again more Rocky Helmet damage Rocky onto Hammer the Kangaskhan. And the Aqua Jet onto the Kangaskhan. Of course, this a lot of damage, but not, does not get the kill. The return comes out onto the, uh, With the Rocky Helmet. Yep. Oh, she will hit. hit there, but Rocky Helmet won't be enough to take it out. It's gonna go down really low though. And one more round of Rocky Helmet damage will actually take out this Kangaskhan. Yes, uh, so the most probable that he can do is only a uh, sucker punch. But then again, we see it the... Again, an Azumarill yeah. resists sucker punch. Resist. So, so no, punch. 
Muscle, uh, Matthew going for the switch again, going back into his EG Slash. Save his fake out pressure probably. That's true. He's one of his most valuable weapons against Azumarill. And we see the Rage Powder anymore again. Not, not, not uh, doing anything this time because the Crystallion has safety goggles. So Psychic will actually not, not choosing to go for the Azumarill, just choosing to KO the Among Us. Freeing up his Kangaskhan to come in later. Yep. Fair enough. And oh, but the knockoff knock comes off. The not going to kill. Oh, oh, oh goes oh, all the way what? down to one what HP. Help? One HP left. But the now it's in Aqua Jet KO range. Yeah. Oh, Aqua Jet KO range, but still, uh, it survives. It's, a, it's a, ma a miraculous survival there. Yeah. Uh, we see the another fake out pressure from Boyuki. So, so Cresselia, I don't force to switch out or die here. Yeah. Uh, he probably just let it die because he wants to save his Kangaskhan for fake out pressure, of course. Uh, without taking any more damage. But then again, uh, King, uh, Does he want to go for the King Shield immediately, hoping to catch the Aqua Jet though? Or the knockoff? To bring Azumarill's attack even lower? Yep, it's mind games. They're, they're, they're playing minds right now. Uh, they want to go for... Oh, yeah, she's going for the Helping Hand attack. attack! Hoping the one he killed, the, 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 the Azumarill. And Perfect. power up punch onto the Cresselia. Yeah, wants to get the plus one attack stage. Uh, so, are we going to see EG Slash or Azumarill move first? Azumarill... Azumarill... Oh, EG Slash does go first! It's so, but well, EGZ does have the higher base speed actually. Flash so, the plus one flash cannon on going on to, to Azumarill. Azumarill does get the KO. Does get the KO. So, right now the game is 2 2. With Kangaskhan sitting at plus one. Uh, yeah, well, Kangaskhan sitting at plus one again. And uh, I believe Matthew's Kangaskhan is sitting at only 25 HP yes, remaining. Yes, 25 so HP remaining. Still hard, but. But we remain to see what EGZ's final Pokemon is. Yeah. If it is the Conco, the. Well, hard. I think it's the game hard. could be over. And it's the Sylveon! No, it's the Hydran, sorry. It's Hydran. Sylveon is death. Uh, yeah. Hydran is hard. Uh, especially uh, with Edge Slash. Uh, not. Cannot but, do that. So uh, now I believe the pick up pressure comes from Matthew's side of the field. Since yep. his Kangaskhan is fresh. But then again, he, he has. Kind of he, out, yeah. he does not do really much damage. So now he's going for the protect. Perhaps predicting the friend. pick out onto that slot. But pick up no, going onto the Kangaskhan. Which is a strange decision by UTA. To protect the Hedron. And the uh, Slash will hit. Just stays in hold, but it goes oh for the white, white guard. guard. White but guard. in this case, we think so. But now now there's review, I think Utel will be, oh, will be strictly going for Earth Power from now on. Yeah, it's more safe also. As he does, uh, he is not really forced to uh, get a double kill on one turn itself. So basically, uh, he can just do for uh, Earth Power. So we see a King Shield here from uh, Aegis Slash. Uh, hoping for getting something. Uh, probably not. Kangaskhan. And Sucker Punch onto oh. the... So Yuzi goes and gets the Sucker Punch, a very daring play since yeah, he knows yeah. that Matthew's Kangaskhan is faster than his. So I think the game is set. And the game is set with Hedron against um, EG Slash, I think. He's getting good at this game there. So the winner for today's regional. So EG Slash will pick up the regional yeah, he for Singapore. For he wins Malaysia Regional 2015. So let a big, give a big round of applause in the arena today uh, for Paul Yuzi for winning the... Regional Championships. Of course, in Comic Fiesta. Yep. Really daring plays by Yuzhe towards the end. Yes, yes. A uh, really daring play. But then again, uh, I think that uh, Po Yuzhe plays uh, really well uh, throughout, the, throughout the game from Game 1 and also Game 2 as uh, he, uh, he predicts on where to uh, give out his uh, Among Us on the right timing. Also, he gives out the Kang Shan also on the right timing. And I think it helps a lot on uh, this game as well. Yeah, I think we can see that Matthew was very much forced on the defensive. He kept switching in, switching out. He just couldn't get any damage done on the field at all. Yeah, the sucker punch and a power on Kang. A safe, really safe play. Very safe play there, yep. So, see here, we see them right now. Giving, uh, giving a warm handshake to each other. It's a, it's a, with his Pretty much biggest biggest win so far this season. Uh, he's cut. Is. He cut. I mean, he cut Singapore Nationals, but he fell at the first hurdle at the top eight. And now he's won a regional championships, taking yeah. 150 championship points, and well on track yeah, to qualify oh, for the world oh, championships this year. Because right now, uh, qual uh, right now the championship is not by base ranking, but you just need to pass on uh, 200 championship points. And right now he already racks up 150 championship points. I think he's. Really might, actually be, might actually already be there. Yep. So Ita has a decent yeah. amount of points from early in the season. As long and as I believe our victorious time. championship winner is coming here for an coming interview. Here. So, okay, right now I think uh, Matthew will be doing the interview as one nationality, I believe. Okay, so I think uh, that's all. Thank you for today. My name is Sashi Ganjay and... I am Matthew Hui.
Thank you for watching today's commentary. We hope you are enjoyed by uh, today's match as well. And see you guys on next regionals. And we are back with our championship winner of today's Malaysia Regional Championship 2015. Well, the last major tournament of the 2015 season, in fact, to get gain points for the 2016 season, Ho Yu Oh, thank you, man. So Yu Jie, okay, tell, tell, tell us a quick, a quick reaction. All the emotions are going through your head right now. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad I managed to do this well with this team, uh, because, yeah, Yoshino is top, top tier waifu. And, yeah, <laughs> Matt Sensei is the best Kangas gun. <laughs> okay, Yu Jie. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. And definitely, Yoshino does definitely did a lot of work. The belly drum win condition clearly carried you throughout much of your top eight games. Yeah. Today and this game, this final especially, we saw the we saw the uh, the plus six Azumaru just putting so much pressure on uh, Matthew's team. Matthew, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even though he managed to skill stop away the the huge power ability, he was still threatened by the amount of power you're sending in field and the priority as well. Like in the first game, I believe when you saw after you picked out the Rotom Wash, he had nothing on his team that could take a plus six Aqua Jet, yes. and you just. You just carry that all the way to a win. And in game two, even with the sk skill stop the way of huge power, the threat of Azumaru still forcing to play a certain way, which you could exploit. He even adjusted he adjusted he adjusted a great deal with your final game. He brought in the safety goggles Crusader to skill stop you. He brought in the EG Slash to hopefully catch you Akonjane into a King Shield, but in the end, still no difference. Yoshino is better than Waifu, it looks like. Yeah. So you've come a long way, Yuji, all the way from your beginnings, way back in 20... 2013, when you went to the World Championships, qualified via the Last Chance Qualifiers. 20, 2014. 20, 20, 2014? 14. 2014, yeah, that's all just last year, I believe. Yeah. Where well, you brought you over to, to uh, Washington DC, and you qualified for the World Championships. The first Singaporean in the senior division of VGC. And now, you're winning a regional championships in the Masters division. Yeah. So, your skill just, it climbs, you know. When we first knew you, you were just, you were very quiet, you kept to yourself. We didn't really know what you were like, but we realized you were really, there was no hidden potential there. So you, you, and you showed it at the LCQs and now you're showing it among us. You're destroying us every day, day in, day out. You took Kenny's team and now you're outdoing Kenny with his team. It's like, wow, it's there. So the team building, I believe, was this the same thing we brought to the recent PC last uh, week? Yeah, actually, I didn't have much time to team build because of old level. So I just ripped off Kenny's team and just... Uh, but I believe Azumari was a change you made on your own. Yes. yes? So what, 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 decide, what made you decide on this? Uh, adding Azumaru to your existing core. Oh, because uh, I think for the last PCs which I which uh, I fought Raven in in the top four, yeah, Azumaru was such a big threat, uh. And seeing that Sikun or my or the, the common Sikun on my team is like pretty much a sitting duck. It but was. I to change it, might as well change it to a fast sweeper like Azumaru. Uh. Yep, the Among Us, the Among Us Kangas Khan, Az Azumaru, a very strong core on its own. Yeah. Which they can help each other boost. Kangas Khan can boost, Azumaru can boost. And Among Us just protects everything as well. You play Among Us very well, as, you know, especially in your top 8 game, when you knew when to bring it in to sponge up attacks and when to bring it out. So, can you really go take me through your top process as in how do you lead? You know, let's say you want to set up an Azumario sweep. Can you take me through your top process on what, what, what makes you decide which setup uh, method to bring? Oh, um, depending on my opponent, if my opponent like, has a Kangas card, I'll usually not bring Among Us as a lead. I'll just predict when, who is going to fake out and just bring, uh, switch into Azumario to take that slot for the Rocky Armor damage. Uh. Yeah, and from there, just Rage Powder and other power up punch with your Kangaskhan or Belly Drop. So actually, a bit risky since I believe your Kangaskhan is not the fastest around. Yeah. Pretty. It's actually built... Are you, is it actually built out sweep by the Trick Room? Yeah. Trick it room is, room right? Is, yeah. The Trick Room on the Cresselia. So, you don't have the fastest fake out, especially if your opponent brings his own Kangaskhan. Yeah. Like in the final game, Matthew's Kangaskhan was, I believe, jolly max speed. So, he had the fastest fake out, yet he couldn't really leverage it to his advantage. And you still got a better of him in those early exchanges. Um, Actually, I had inner focus, but I, may, I actually switched to Scrappy. For this tournament? Yes. <laughs> it kind of paid out though. And somehow the Kangasa's name is still Mad Sensei. <laughs> yeah, it was so how many, Mad, how many Mad Senses do you have in your box uh, right now, Yijie? Two. Uh, I just kept the nickname the same just to trick people to think that I'm still in the focus. It's the same inner focus one, yeah. yeah. Alright, so the, the team itself, well, we didn't really see Kongoda come out much, but we came out. In fact, Kongoda might actually have played your opponent's mind a bit. Since you brought it out at, right at the end of the first game and it gave your opponent an idea of what he wanted to bring for the next game. But, well, since uh, I believe we're gonna wrap this up, so this is the trophy for the regional championships winner for Malaysia and Regionals 2015, our last tournament, our last major tournament of the 2015 season. Yu Jie, Yoshino, and Yoshinon are our champions for today. Congratulations once again, Yu Jie. Your trophy is here. Okay, thank you. 
and that is and uh, with that, again, congratulations to each year. But uh, and we'll bring this tournament to a close. Uh, thanks once again for tuning in and uh, watching the very good matches we've seen from top eight, top four, as well as the final with Yu coming out on top. And until next time, with I believe tomorrow we have a premier challenge here at Comic Fiesta. So perhaps tune in for coverage of that as well. Until next time, I am Matthew Hui, our cha your champion of Malaysia Regionals is Po Yu signing off. Alright, Po Studi.